In a modern world that tends towards both homogenizing things and fracturing things, communion is a language of beauty, of harmony, of unity and plurality. This beauty lies in its celebration of the richness and diversity of a creation that gives glory to God. A plurality that finishes only when each created thing has exhausted its createdness and all is enfolded back into God through Christ in the Spirit. What impedes communion is that we get trapped in small desires, little satisfactions, such as beating our opponents, having status, grand titles. According to the oral tradition, when Thomas Aquinas was asked by his sister, Theodora, how to become a saint, he replied with one word, vele, want it. Constantly, Jesus asked people who come to him, what do you want? What can I do for you? The Lord wants to give us the fullness of love. Do we want it? The church was born inseparable from the human drama. In a temporary shelter, on the cross, at Pentecost. Our Catholicity continues to be lived amidst our human drama. We speak then of communion, not out of a calm perfection that lies just beyond our reach, but out of our necessary and right location in the struggle of every culture and context for truth, beauty and goodness. So many people feel excluded or marginalized in our church because we slapped labels on them. Divorced and remarried, gay, polygamous, refugees, Africans, Jesuits. A friend said to me the other day, I hate labels. I hate putting people in boxes. I can't abide these conservatives. If you really meet somebody, you may become angry, but hatred cannot be sustained in a truly personal encounter. If you glimpse their humanity, you will see one, the one who created them and sustains them in being, whose name is I Am. <laughs>